What's going on YouTube? This is Project Garage back with another little project for you guys. It's a BMW, it's a E36 328i. I got this little 328i yes here. We're getting ready to do an oil change today. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it on my car. First, you're gonna wanna grab the oil that goes to your car. And when you get the oil, you're gonna need an oil filter as well. Um, that's pretty standard for all oil changes. Um, for this car, the oil filter goes here. Most cars is underneath the car. And we also have this here. This goes around this. Very simple. Very simple. So first, to get the oil out of the motor the best way, we're gonna go ahead and open all of the uh, access ports where the oil goes. So here is where the oil goes. Here's the dipstick for the oil. Let's take all that out. Watch out, because you're gonna get some drip drip on there. So just place that in a good spot where you won't worry about oil leaking everywhere. Then we'll go get this off. But underneath the car, here's where the stuff matters. So you'll need two jack stands, of course. Got my oil uh, catcher here. So your oil pan is gonna be the biggest box that has a bolt, a drain hole on it. And you'll wanna take that off, drain all the old oil out, put new oil in, very simple. So. We'll get to it. So this shouldn't be too hard to do. I'm doing this with one hand with a couple little spins. That should come off nice and easy. If your car is hot, be careful too. My car is currently hot. So you're gonna wanna take this off. All right, and we got all the oil leaking down. All right, oil the filters get off. All the oil is draining out through the sides there. The main importance of this here is when you put new oil in your car or old oil, this will filter out all the bad stuff and it'll put it in your filter, obviously, before it shoots back into the motor. So we're gonna go ahead and pop a new so one in. Here we are with the new oil filter and it's gonna come with an O-ring and also a flange for the oil pan, which is like a grommet, like a little rubber O-ring. And that goes on the bolt. This goes on your oil filter housing. All right, that's on. We got the oil filter on. So now what we can do is we can take either old oil or new oil and just put a little bit on the filter so that way it doesn't dry out as soon as we put it back on there or, you know, cause any problems. Cool, cool little trick too. So this is actually used to get the um, oil pan bolt off. This actually goes to the wheels here too. So if you were to need to change your wheels, it's the same size as your um, oil and your oil is the same size as your wheels. Or drain bolt, which is here. This one here, we're gonna take this out. The oil comes out, we wait, we put in new oil in. And it's just that simple. So I'm using a, uh, a torque wrench. It's a very long one. So literally I just broke the bolt. So now you're just gonna twist it right on off. And it usually comes off pretty easy. So twist it now. You wanna be careful because if your car is hot, guess what? The oil is hot as well. I usually put a little pressure on it and it keeps the oil from spilling out and gushing all over your hands. So while you're untightening tightening the bolt, you can push it with a little bit of pressure just to make sure that the oil doesn't spill out everywhere. So keep loosening the drain bolt. And once you think it's all the way loose like that, pull, let that flow. Look at that nice looking oil. That's about 4,000 miles. I've been lazy, haven't changed it. So it's normally a very good color here. Very nice. Now we wait. Since it's gonna rain, I'm gonna wrap it up pretty fast, but now well, all you're gonna do is just put everything back on. So here goes the oil filter. I usually tighten it till it's hand tight because obviously that doesn't have a torque rating on it. All right, nice and hand tight. Okay, grab these bad boys. And you're gonna wanna pull, squeeze, cool, just like that. You wanna make sure it's tight enough but not too tight where this rubber band is popping out because then you won't have a correct seal. So that's good. Now, step two. And guys, I made a minor mistake. I forgot to take out my my little cap here so all the oil was filling up. So when you do this, make sure your cap is out so your oil goes from here to in here and not on your ground. Little uh, future tip for you guys. Okay, now that we have this back on, we're gonna go ahead and reattach our oil dipstick in the correct spot. Then 
Let me leave this open because that's where the oil goes. All right, now that the oil is to a stop, just about, we're gonna stick this here. It's a funnel. It's gonna catch all the extra oil that I spill or that goes over by accident and it'll shoot straight down. Make sure your funnel's clean. Mine isn't the cleanest, but who cares? It's a BMW, it's old, and it'll eat up all the garbage in there and spit it right out. So we'll get on to pouring the oil in. Okay, here's my O-ring. Goes right on this bolt like so, nice and clean. Okay, get back. Make sure there's a little bit of oil on your bolt as well. I always do that for a good seal. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and finger tighten right about there. Okay, Our torque wrench, Slip, flip it over, put that bad boy on, and start tightening. She's tight. Now, our job's done. And we add, we'll add, we'll add, we'll add. Now that we got all of the oil in, we'll move to the second one. Okay, on to the next. I'd usually leave it like this for a few minutes and then I'll come back to it. Now that everything's done, now here's the fun part. We'll just tighten everything back up. Tight. Make sure the dipstick's in. Make sure this is hand tight good. Okay. Go underneath the car now. Make sure there's nothing leaking. Don't see anything leaking. I think we're all clear to pull this out. And this is all you need to do an oil change on this car or this car or this car on any car you'll need either two or four jack stands you'll need two or one jack i only use one i have a got this from um auto zone it was like three bucks funnel for a radiator works fine for the oil your oil your oil filter your socket your torque wrench and then your oil filter wrench and that will change your oil at your home like I just did no forget to when you're always done take this out give it a good wipe down put it back in pull it back out take a look at it and it should be over the second line which it is that means you're full and you're ready to drive so thank you guys for watching project garage we'll be back another time